Hello everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're working on page four of You and Me. And I had some inspiration the other day. I don't know really where it came from me and I decided to take a break, run out to the craft store and buy some silver cardstock. So this metallic cardstock I've placed behind this cut apart and I think it just adds a certain little bling. And then I'm gonna use this on page five. So it's just a circle um, right behind uh, this piece of chipboard. Now I I have some die cuts but I didn't use it. What I had done was I um, die cut the graphic 45 clock die and that's the center of this and I wanted to see if I could work in the outside of the clock which is uh, sort of this ornate filigree looking kind of thing and I still may work that into the album, but I preserved the circles that came out of the middle and it fit right behind this chipboard piece perfectly. So I'm gonna save that for page five. This is what I'm doing on page four. And this is a cut apart from the 12 by 12 uh, collection, 12 by 12 scrapbook pack. Gotta try to remember, um, trying to keep these things separate is difficult. Uh, this is from, that's a background, and that's a background. So these two pieces are from the background pack, and so is this. And I think this is from the scrapbook pack. So I think I've, I've covered everything. So everything's from the patterns with the exception of this one. And I think I've got that all right. Yes, okay, so this is a pretty simple page. We are going to install a flap over here on the right-hand side. This flap is four and a quarter by eight and a half, four and a quarter across, eight and a half inches tall. You're gonna score a half inch on the four and a quarter side. I hope everybody's doing good today. I got up really early today, ran to see my dentist. I got an all good checkup, so I feel good about that. I was having some issues, um, but it turns out I think it's just, I have swollen sinuses and um, the roots and nerves in my upper molars are irritated from that. So what do you do? Allergies, can't really, can't live with them, can't live without them. <laughs> okay, so we've got this in. So the next thing, uh, we are gonna have this, this overlay on this flap. So we are gonna place a magnet behind this and then a magnet on the base paper. So let's go ahead and decorate this part first and then we'll come back and add um, the designer piece here. So this is going to be this uh, beautiful gray floral pattern, which I really, I really like. And I actually, I know this looks kind of old fashioned, but I really like it. I think it looks kind of romantic. So, and of course it's just the flip side of this. on this side. Okay, so we're gonna lay this in um, just because I wanna see what it's gonna look like and how far over I want this to go. And so I, essentially I want this to look centered. So it looks like I need to trim that edge off a little. My board is not even. That looks better. Uh, that looks about right. So I'm gonna flip it over. We're gonna center it. I'm gonna draw a line so I know where to stop the glue. and then I'll give you the, the uh, measurement of this panel. And this panel is based on a scrap that I had, so you don't have to stick to this size, but I thought it looked really good. So it is, I can't 
remember, am I doing it this way? This way, okay. So it is five and three quarters across and six and six and a half inches tall. Five and three quarters by six and a half. And we have to get this fixed before we can figure out where the magnets go. So that's why we're working on this right now. Looks about right, but I'm gonna burnish it into place until we get a look at it on the top side. You can measure this, but I'm just eyeballing it. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's put that all into place. There we go. Now I've got this piece of pattern paper that's gonna go. <coughs> shh, no, that's gonna go here. What do you? We'll get it. Sorry, that's Nala. She's yelling at me. So let's go ahead and add our magnet. It's gonna go here, and then we'll have another one over here. Get my tape to cover it with. And again, you know, you can just use regular tape, it doesn't have to be double-sided. Let's just do that, as long as it's thin, um, so that it won't show through your pattern paper. I think I mentioned to you guys that my husband's back at work, but he's working from home. Man, has that been a challenge because I have a very needy dog. <laughs> she won't leave him alone. Okay, that's good. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and add this, which goes this way. So there we are. So this is going to allow for some very nice large photos. to trim this to fit. hear her in the background. Nobody wants to play with me. All right. Oops. Uh, let's tuck it under a little. I thought I trimmed it enough. Maybe I didn't. So I'm going to let that dry for a second. And I'm going to trim that down to fit. And then that is uh, most of this page. I can't close it because there's glue on this side. So, yeah. Let's see if I can't get another sliver off. I'll just use my, my ruler. Then I don't have to worry. Pencil. 
that again. There we go. I don't know how I was so far off. It happens, it happens. kind of simple and that is why we're going to add a little something which is this so I think I'm gonna lean to the side a little bit because then you could still get a photo here and of course if you want to just preserve this whole space for a photo that's not a bad idea either um, but then you've got another large space here and plenty of space here so I kind of go back and forth. I kind of like it off center, so that's what I'm going to do. If you don't have the metallic cardstock, just card, uh, use your white cardstock to back it so it'll pop out a little bit more. Pretty fast huh okay I'll be back shortly with page five which is gonna be very similar um, this pattern is going to be a different color and then of course the embellishment is going to be a little bit different once I get page uh, five done I'm probably gonna pull them both in and kind of look for balance on the embellishments and I may make a few changes I'll be back soon